Hi everybody, M my name is Joel Cordy and I am the owner of Chase Bliss Audio and the designer of Warped Vinyl, which is an analog vibrato slash chorus pedal. The analog circuit is all analog, but it is controlled by a little com computer called a microprocessor. Um, we've tried shooting this video like three times and I keep trying to explain too much in one video so we're just going to do a brief overview of all the controls and then um, we're going to really dig into the functionality in um, some other videos and segments. Um, so we're going to start right here with the uh, ramp knob. This is one I could probably talk an hour about but in short this allows you, it, it, well, it sets the t -t 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 time that you can modulate any of the parameters on here or ramp and hold any of the parameters on here. Um, this is a really cool f feature and is probably the feature I'm the most proud about on, on the, on the pedal. But again, we'll get back to that in another video. Uh, this is the volume, uh, everybody knows what that is turn it to the right it turns the volume up uh, the mix knob all the way counterclockwise is all of the way wet uh, affected s signal um, if and all the way to the left is completely dry if you do it somewhere in the middle like here ish you're gonna get a chorus because uh, you're getting that combination of the dry signal and the wet signal and of course all the way to the left is going to be completely dry that's boring, so we're going to put it completely wet. Um, RPM is just a fancy way of saying the uh, rate of the vibrato. So if you turn that up, turn it uh, changes the speed of the vibrato. Uh, the depth knob is how wide the vibrato can go. And so if you you know crank that up, it's going to sound fairly crazy. And anywhere in between. Um, the uh, the warp knob changes, uh, for lack of a better term, changes where the uh, the midpoint or like hump of the wave is. So uh, if I turn this to the right, you're going to hear this sort of hump on the right side. You know, before that it was very symmetrical. On the left side, the hump's on the going to be more towards the, uh, the left side. Um, if we turn this back over to the right, we can also change the shape of the left and right side of the wave. So if I change this to square, you can hear this sharp cutoff. It's very rhythmic and nice for... I suck at playing. Kind of fun. Uh, there's also tap tempo. So that allows you to set the tempo by tapping. You can also uh, change the multiples of that. So this would be twice as fast, four times as fast. Um, you can also do three, six, and eight, And but I'll talk about that later. You can also save and recall presets, which is very exciting uh, for those of us that are um, obsessed with the analog realm. Um, and that's with this switch down here. And again, I will be explaining that in another video. So thanks for looking at this overview and please tune in to the rest of the video so I can finally talk about the stuff I want to talk about.